When the arrival of a woman troubled steps and comes into her family, it turns a successful lawyer's life upside down, leading to a secret affair. The movie opens with Anna getting her daughters ready for school. Her husband Peter is not happy that she invites patients to their home and argues with him. The woman communicates with the client in her office with a young girl. The girl is worried about the fact that she changed seven partners for a year, and the lawyer comforts her. In the evening, Anna reads a story to her children. Her daughter wants to wait for a relative to arrive, but her mother persuades her to sleep. The next day, we see her working on the veranda, when her husband arrives with Gustav, their stepbrother. The girls are happy about their brother's arrival and show him what gifts they have prepared for his arrival. Peter suggests that his son arrange the room to his taste. Anna is chatting with her manicurist about Gustav. Near the door of the house, she finds Gustav's keychain. She's about to give it to her boy, but discovers the room is a mess and starts to clean it up. Gustav comes out of the bathroom in a towel. Anna forgets about the keychain and asks him about the book titled of the boyfriend he was reading late at night. She is visited by her client, who does not want to testify against the criminal in the coming courts hearing. The next day, she picks up the girls from school. When they got home, she hears her husband fighting with her stepson. Gustav goes for a walk in the forest. Then her husband complains to her about the misunderstandings they had, causing him and his son to argue. Anna offers to involve the boy in the life of the family. After the court session, Anna supports the girl and approves of her act. In the parking lot, she sees the client's abuser and approaches to reprimand him. At home, she notices her house has been messed up. She calls her husband to tell him about the robbery and asks Gustav to check what could be missing from their home. At the office, she is sent off for violating legal ethics. Anna then goes to do the laundry in Gustav's jeans, she finds a keychain. When the boy returns from school, she gives him the keychain and asks how the thing ended up in his possession. Gustav is outraged that the woman went through his things and accuses the guy of staging the robbery. She offers him two options. Gustav can confess everything to his father and explain himself to the police, or he must blend into the family's life. On a weekend, the family had a barbecue. Gustav plays with his sisters outside the house. He asks the girls questions about what they like and records their answers on his father's old tape recorder. In the evening, Anna drinks wine and reviews work documents. In the dining room, Gustav introduces his stepmother to his friend Amanda. The couple leaves the woman after a while Anna hears sounds that come from the guy's room. Going up to the room, she undresses and looks at her body in the mirror. The next day, Anna asks questions at a meeting in court. In the evening, she convinces her husband to actively spend time in the bedroom. On the weekend, a woman and her children go to the river. While she is working, the girls find different shells on the shore. Gustav offers the woman to go swimming. At first, she refuses signing work, but suddenly she changes her mind and joins the children. They have fun splashing water on each other. On the way home, the girls fall asleep. Anna and Gustav are chatting in the living room. The woman and asks her steps in about his tattoo. He suggests she get a tattoo too, and together they choose a spot on her arm. However, in the next scene, guests arrive at their home. Anna is frankly bored listening to the talk about birds, so ate the atmosphere brighter. She turns on music, she starts dancing, but no one supports her mood, so the woman makes herself another cocktail. Gustav is going to the bed and sees that Anna is bored near the house, the woman wants to keep the guy company. She then treats Gustav to a drink, and they chat about Amanda when the guy is about to leave Anna kisses him. In front of the house, the woman takes off her shoes, but her husband catches her and is angry with her for leaving him alone with the guests. In the office, Anna and her assistant watch footage of abrasions on a case. From behind the trees, she watches Peter playing hide-and-seek with the children. Suddenly behind the tree where she was hiding Gustav hides, Anna scrutinizes the profile of her stepson. The guy, however, gently guides the woman's hand, causing strange sensations in her. At night, she cannot sleep remembering the touch of Gustav. The woman gets out of bed to get a drink of water. On the way to the dining room, she notices that the door to the guy's room is open. When Anna walks in, Gustav is lying on the bed reading a book. At first, she doesn't say anything and she sits on the edge of the bed and starts massaging his legs. Gustav likes what is happening and doesn't mind his stepmother continuing the massage. Anna shows the guy that she agrees to move on to more active actions. They did some hot exercise on the floor. Afterward, Anna thanks the guy and goes to her bedroom. In the morning, the heroine buys a laptop to give to her stepson. Peter is surprised by the deed of his wife and asks to consult with him in such matters. The couple gathers for dinner outside the house and says goodbye to the children. Anna and her husband return late at night 
and she wants to spend time alone with Peter. The man invites her to go upstairs where they have fun in the morning. She talks to an underage client and persuades her to seek help from social services. At home she sees Gustav reading a fairy tale to his sisters, this pleases her. The next day, Anna is clearing the table when she sees her steps in downstairs. Outside the house, secluded in the bathroom, Gustav warms up to her to get to know her deeper. At this time, Peter comes home. He is surprised to see the girls playing at home and is looking for his wife to continue getting to know Peter's son. Anna spends time with him in the woods and she puts her daughters to bed. The next morning, she and Gustav start with physical exercise. At the girls' birthday party, Anna goes to get some water. Gustav catches her in the dining room and starts kissing her. The sister sees this. The girl reproaches Anna that Gustav is very young and goes home. She feels guilty. The guy wants to help her collect dirty dishes, but she rudely answers him and leaves. Gustav feels resentful. He climbs a tree to get the guest's attention. Peter asks his son to stop fooling around and come down, but the guy falls out of the tree. He makes a bad joke which angers his father even more. Offended Gustav goes for a walk in the forest, Peter complains to his wife about the difficulties of raising a son. At night, Anna cannot sleep reflecting on what has happened early in the morning. She communicates with him in the forest. She wants to end their affair, asking him to keep everything secret. After a while, Anna returns home and catches her husband and Gustav in the yard. Peter tells his wife that he wants to live a few days with his son in their summer house. She reproaches him for not spending enough time with his daughters. The man tells his wife about her sister's call in the evening. She reads a fairy tale to the girls, while Frida is very curious on why they did not go to Sweden with their father and brother. Before school, Anna and the girls visit her sister, and she wants to explain herself, but Lena does not want to listen to her sister. Anna goes home to think about what is happening in her life and leaves a voice message for her husband. Later, she goes to pick up the girls and tries to find her cell phone. Distracted by the road, Anna fails to control her car. At home, the girls notice that their father and brother have returned from the veranda of the house. The woman watches the conversation of the men. The girls meet their father and tell him the latest news after putting the children to bed. Peter waits for his wife in the dining room. The man tells his wife that his son wants to move to a boarding house. Gustav then tells his father about the affair with his stepmother, but Anna denies the connection with her stepson and arranges a scandal for her husband to justify herself. She tells her husband that Gustav has robbed their house and Peter tries to calm his wife. In the morning, Anna takes the tapes from Gustav's room which compromise her in front of her husband. Peter decides to talk to his son in front of his wife to expose him for the lie. As the woman denies their affair, the boy sees that his father doesn't believe him and shuts down. When Anna approaches Gustav, he spits in her face. In the morning, the guy loads his belongings into his father's car and says goodbye to his sisters. In the next scene, Peter and Anna are sitting in the living room. The man is sad about his separation from his son. A girl whom the woman recently helped comes to their home to say thanks. In the morning, Gustav is waiting for Anna in the office. He demands that the woman confess everything to Peter, which she is not going to give into the blackmail of the guy. She suggests that he accept her version of events or stay away from their family. At Christmas, the girls are given a dog. But at night, Gustav knocks on the house. The boy wants to talk to his father, and she tells her steps in that he is taking up too much space in their lives and chases him away. At Anna's birthday party, her friends gather, and she makes another attempt to reconcile with her sister. Peter spoke on the phone with his ex-wife. He tells Anna that Gustav is missing. The woman is walking in the woods with the dog at home. She asks her husband why he and the children has not left. Peter informs her that he has been called to the police, and she wants to go with him, but her husband refuses. She does housework all day waiting for news from her husband and falls asleep on the sofa in the living room. Peter returns late at night. He tells his wife that Gustav was found in the woods. Anna is crying in the bathroom. She is saddened by the news about her boyfriend and has a guilty conscience in the mirror. She sees Gustav who looks at the woman reproachfully. She realizes that she has begun to hallucinate on a nervous basis in the bedroom. She tries to comfort her husband, but Peter does not want to hear anything from his wife. In the final scene, the family gathers at the cemetery. The girls and Peter want to say goodbye to Gustav. Anna closes the house and silently accompanies her family. The movie then come to an end. Thanks for watching. If you like recap like this, please like and subscribe to our channel to watch latest and interesting videos.